Hello, Dr. Brad Hulsevus here, and welcome to another edition of Ask the Chiropractor. Ask the Chiropractor is my little podcast that I do. When someone has a question about chiropractic or chiropractic care, I try to answer. I'm a chiropractor here in Rockford, Illinois. I'm a proud graduate of Palmer College of Chiropractic, and I'm happy to be the team chiropractor of the Rockford Ice Hogs. Let's dive into it. Hello, welcome to another edition of Ask the Chiropractor. Well, as you can tell, things here look a little different than they normally do. And if you're listening, you're about to find out that things here are a little normal, different than normal. Uh, today, I've got a friend of mine here, Coach Justin Kigley. He's joining us because remember, in Ask the Chiropractor, people come to me in the office, they ask me a question, and I try to give them the best answer I know as a chiropractor. A lot of you over the years have come to me and especially at the beginning of the year, tell me, hey, I just want to get healthier, I want to be better, what do I do? And I've referred you to this book right here, Be Great Today, I got the author sitting next to me here of this book, but that's actually not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about a question I get asked many times and something that even in my own house comes up for teenage athletes. We have a young athlete, they don't know what to do, the parents are new to all this, and a lot of times we, we meet coaches, um, and you and I have talked about this too, where the coaches haven't updated their research and their information from their coach, from their coach to your coach. So tell us a little bit about who you are and why we should care. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me on, Dr. Brand. I appreciate it. So you're just such a huge resource for me and uh, my family and Movement Fitness, and we're just super grateful for you. So thanks for that. Um, yeah, so this is the question. We train high school athletes at Movement Fitness. We've been in business for eight years. I've trained high school athletes for 15 years. And so as we look at this, the one thing is, is parents come in and more and more they know, hey, they need to train. We need to reduce the risk of injury. We need to maximize performance and speed. But when they bring their kids in, they say, oh, also, can you help Johnny or Susie figure out what are they supposed to eat? Can you talk to them about breakfast and what should they eat here? And what should they eat after a game? And what's it like when they're traveling on the road and at tournaments? And you know, after answering those questions a number of times, I just wanted to say, you know what, we need to compile this and put it together and to help make something that's easy because nutrition is not complicated, but it's not simple. Mm -hmm. And so my goal was to go, look, let's put something together that provides a roadmap, a direction for both athletes, parents, and also coaches to, to guide and to direct so that they can have better options and make better choices for what they want to accomplish. Absolutely. And you know, I get to get a little preview of this because a lot of things that we see at the chiropractic clinic is, hey, my lower back's sore, I have all this inflammation, I, I, after I run, I get late cramps at night, all this stuff's going on, what should we be doing differently? And it's a lot for me to sit down with an athlete and try to go over all that with them. And, and as you know, we co-care many athletes together. Sure. And the moms and dads just want to know, what, what are we supposed to be doing different? What's, what, what, give us some guidance here. And I think that's kind of what you were trying to achieve here, correct? Correct. Well, there's two, th there's two parts of this. When we look at what happens, we have parents that are well-intentioned. They spend lots of money on what they're doing for their kids for skill work and practice and training and all of that, but nutrition kind of gets pushed to the side. Absolutely. Um, but there's also parents that are really good about like, hey, let's, you should eat this and you should eat breakfast and you should do these things and the kids just aren't listening and paying attention. So my goal was to take those two things and go, look, this is not one or the other. Kids need their parents because the parents are buying the groceries. And so as a parent, they're the one, they have the most influence over their kids' nutritional choices. So they do have to take responsibility and say, you know what, if I want my kid to eat better, I should eat better. Yes. I should stock the pantry better, the refrigerator better. So there's the challenge in that of making sure like, Somebody like me, I can tell someone what to eat, but I'm not buying your groceries for you. And I'm not preparing the food. And I'm not the one making the decision to go, should we go through the drive-through because I don't want to cook tonight. I know those challenges because I have two teenagers. I have three kids. I understand the challenges of travel sports and, and all the things. But it's also coming down to decisions. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of that, for an athlete, at some point you have to take responsibility for your own goals and what you want to accomplish. Yes, mom and dad need to buy the groceries and need to help with that, but they also, they're not the ones that are gonna make you eat breakfast in the morning. They're not the ones that are gonna be with you at lunch and saying, well, did you eat a good lunch? Did you eat a snack after school before practice or did you just go on an empty stomach? 
Um, did you do something after practice so that way you could recover faster? So they're not the ones that are ultimately making those choices. And if you're serious about wanting to reach your full potential, to do everything that God gave you to do, then ultimately you need to start taking some responsibility. So we wanted to map that out and say, here's what it would look like for you to do that. Well, what I enjoyed about it was it was a very specific, this is what you should be doing mm -hmm. with the why. Because the kid's always going to ask, why? Why do I have to do this? Why do you think this? And there's also going to be the other kid in their ear that knows nothing about nothing. <laughs> but for some reason, they're the expert. I deal with this with my own daughter, sure. who's a cross-country runner. She comes to me and says, Dad, we're not going to eat any protein during cross-country mm. season. I'm, and you know, you're never, you're just like with your children, you're never an expert in your own sure. house. Sure. So it's really nice to have someone to hand them and say, well, listen, this is written for you about what you're doing. Take a look at this. For sure. And uh, it's really, really helpful. So I, I like the way you kind of gave the whys to go with the examples. And, and great examples examples too like you know if you're going to go to a place order this because mm -hmm. I know a lot of times with these parents that travel for away for a weekend for a tournament a lot of times you get the one parent that decides this is the restaurant we're all going to eat at and it's right. like Dude, I don't want to go there I don't want them <laughs> to eat that right but talk a little bit about how you try to focus them at the restaurants and stuff like that for sure well you're going to eat out yeah. If you're if you're a, a, a an athlete at this point, you're traveling for your sport. You're going somewhere. You're doing weekend tournaments, or you have an event somewhere. Something's going to happen. You're not going to be able to cook every single meal at home. And so the goal was to go. All right, let's ask ourselves, what do we have access to, and what can we control when we're at a tournament? We want to make sure that we're making the best possible choices because if we just allow our kids to eat pizza and burgers and stuff like that when we're on the road, they're ultimately not going to be fueled up for performance. So the reason we're there is to play the tournament and the games. We can't just say like, oh, it's a mini vacation. Let's just do whatever we want. So have some snacks, have some candy, have some soda. And then ultimately the kid shows up and plays on the field or court and they're like flat and, and sore or they get hurt or all kinds of things could happen. So also wanted to map out because one of the questions I know you and I have talked about is what is the strategy for when we're on the road and playing and how should my kid eat? And so educating both the parent and the athlete to say, look, if you have back-to-back -back games, we need to get quick snacks or my kid doesn't like to eat in the morning. What should I do? Well, there's strategies for that as far as like loading up the night before and having something smaller in the morning or what happens when we have big breaks in between games. And so really wanted to just take the opportunity to go, these are the things it's literally written to answer the questions that I have received over the last <laughs> eight to 10 years and going like, these are the things that we know based off of the research, based off what's practical as well, because we both know that things in research sound great in theory, but yes. in application are very difficult. Yes, yes. So it has to be a, the mesh of both. I know it's not everything is perfectly uh, organic and natural, and that's just not the way we live life though. So we have to do our best with what we have, with where we are, and when we know better, we do better. So I do ask the chiropractor, this book is a compilation of Ask the Conditioning Coach. Yeah. <laughs> 12 episodes on one book. Yeah, yes. well that's, that, was, that was the goal, to try to, to try to give people, because we have lots of people that will understand, hey, they should do this, but they don't know why. Right. Everything changes when you understand why yes. and how it fuels you and how it will help you both mentally and physically. But I will also say as a person, you know, 17 years ago, I weighed 300 pounds. And so what I know is when I quit playing sports, it was easy for the weight to continue to build on because I didn't change my nutritional habits that weren't amazing as a kid. They were okay, but they didn't change. So when you stop burning a thousand, two thousand calories a day playing a sport, ultimately you're going to put on weight. So the goal is to help kids to understand this is not just about, just about what we're learning now, but if you can understand how to manipulate the food based off of, you know, who you are and your calorie burn and intake and out, you know, output and all of that, ultimately it's going to help them to live a better life. And the thing I liked what you did in the book too, was you made it easy. You didn't make it like you have to like travel to some exotic food store <laughs> to find some exotic powder or some crazy protein source. Sure. You just made it, it's, when, you, when you, you know, have some rice and have this, or you made it real easy, simple to follow. Uh, it's not like you have to find a unique filet of cod from North Africa. Sure. <laughs> it's just simply have some fish instead of having this. So. Now, your, your audience for this book, are you thinking this is for a parent to read, for a student to read, or is it, is it ideally for both? 
Ideally, it's for both. Um, so the goal is, the more a parent can know, I think it allows them to better situate themselves, right? So I know for us in my household, one thing that we do based off of the information we've learned over the past 10, 12, 15 years is to go, look, we're going to make better choices about what we stock in the pantry, about what we put in the refrigerator. And that from a parent perspective, it allows them to be a little more educated in that. From an athlete perspective, I think they should read this. I think they should understand. I don't think they need to be an expert in nutrition, sure. but they should also know that you can't just eat a bunch of junk. And so for them, the idea is that hopefully that you can kind of mesh this road or mesh this, um, you know, the parents and the athletes and bring them together and go, okay, we found some common ground. Here's what we need to do. All right. Um, how can we talk about, you know, protein? You talked about your daughter with protein earlier. It just kind of hurt my heart, you know, but you go, <laughs> all right, most kids don't think about that. We talk about a protein first strategy in, in, pre in preparation. So just getting them I and mean, we talk to our athletes about it all the time. What are you eating after you're here? What are you having with your protein? So yeah. just to create those small things, we don't need them to be experts, but we sure. want them to be educated. Hopefully the, the students can learn the why and the parents can learn the why and what the stock and what they have ready for them. That would be the, that would be the big goal. Absolutely. So if I wanted to, how do I find you? How do I find a copy of this book if I'm interested? All right, so High Performance Nutrition for High School Athletes is available next Tuesday, December 5th on Amazon. So you'll be able to go on and get it there. You can search Justin Kegley um, and it will pull up there. Um, we will have a link as soon as that is available. Um, I'll share the link with you and we can share that as well. Um, and that's the best way to get the book. We'll also have it uh, at Movement Fitness as well if you're uh, in Rockford and wanted to pick that up there. If you go to my website, rockforddc.com, you'll see my reading library and you can guarantee this book will be added there too with links directly to Amazon. To, to we do the KISS method, keep it simple. Go to my website, go to the reading library. It'll be right there for you. And if you have a question for about chiropractic or chiropractic care, feel free to leave a message there. I'll receive it. And if you have a question for Coach Justin here, you can leave it there too. And I can promise you I'll forward it on to him. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.